in Google Cloud Platform Compute Engine Services, we have two special type of VM machines which are permittable and shield VM instance. We will discuss about them. What are the special about these two type of VMs? My name is Rahul Garg and I welcome see you on our YouTube channel Decode ITES. Decode ITS provides you single learning platform for multiple IT technologies. Today we will discuss about special VM types in GCP, permutable VM instances, permutable VM instance shutdown process, shield VM instance, secure boot, VTPM, measured boot, integrative monitoring, and features of shield VM instance. Special VM types in GCP. Google Cloud Platform also provides two special type of VM and compute instances other than standard one. These VMs are special due to their different characteristics and cost standards. These are permutable VM instance and shield VM instance. Let's start with what is permutable VM instance and its characteristics. Permutable VM instance are temporary VM instances that you can create and run at no cost or lower cost. Permutable VM instances are configured to use additional resources of your project on sharing basis. As and when the resources are needed, controlled by original owner, the compute engine shut down the machine and assign resource to demanding task. Compute engine can terminate these instances when resources are asked by the process or after a hard stop interval of 24 hours. In case you restart your permutable instance, this will reset your 24 hours counter. That means either you restart your machine, it will reinitiate the counter of 24 hours, or that means when resources is demand back by the original instances, this machine can go down, or after the interval of 24 hours, GCP shut down these machines. Permutable instances are dependent on assigned sources, and there may be a possibility. The resources are not able to create and start machine. Permutable instance cannot be used for live migrations and drive no SLA license. That means you can't claim anything to Google in case these machines goes down. These are giving you low performance and any further issues while using these machines. Google free account credits are not valid to create permutable instance. That means if you are using the free account for testing purpose or you have just created your account and start your business over GCP, your free credits will not be allowed to use for permutable VM instances. In case you are using premium OS like Windows on permutable instance, you will be charged with OS cost. Permutable instance comes up with local SSD and GPU support. However, it will lead to additional cost. Other than this, permutable instances are instant, that means you can create them on the fly without any weight. Expendable, that means you can extend the resources of those VM machines if required. Fixed price, you need to pay a fixed amount for using them and quickly reclaim. As and when needed, you can just shut down those machines and reclaim the resources assigned to those machines after work done. In short, Permutable instances are completely user friendly. Who plans to do a lot with little extra effort on fixed price or no price? Permutable instance shutdown process. Why it is important to understand the instance process? Because we just see in case your resources are asked back by the original instances, your machine will go down, or after the interval of 24 hours, your machine will go down. You should know the standard process of shutting down. This will ensure that your data will be saved or intact when your machine goes down. Permutable instance follow the graceful shutdown process. In step one, Compute Engine sends a preemption notice in ACPI G2 soft top signal. This helps you to plan a graceful shutdown of system. You can have a script in place for automated action on this signal. After 30 seconds, if Compute Engine found instance is still running, Compute Engine sends a ACPI G3 mechanical off signal to shut down the system. And step 3, after shutdown, the Compute Engine moves the instance to the terminated state. That means after step 1, 
you can have your automated scripts that can save your files clean the state so that your data is saved and you will find it intact when you start that machine or when you use that data again in step two in case still machine is running and you don't have that scripts in place it will gives you 30 seconds to your machine to wind off and after that it will send you mechanical off that, that means hard stop for your system once your system is shut down it will automatically move to terminated state so that no extra cost will occur for these machines shield vm shielded vms are virtual machines on google cloud platform with an extra security layer vms protected by shield vms protects your vm instance from threats like remote attack leverage escalation boot or kernel level malware root kits and malware insiders shield vm achieve a high level of security functionality so secure boot major boot virtual trusted platform module uefi firmware along with integrity monitoring shield vms achieve this high level security functionality through multiple features which are secure boot measured boot virtual trusted platform module uefi firmware and integrity monitoring we will discuss about these options in coming slides in details. Let's start with Secure Boot. What exactly Secure Boot and how it works? Secure Boots ensure only authorized software runs on system by verifying the digital signature of all the boot components and halting the boot process if signature verification fails. Shield VM instance runs on unified extendable firmware instance UEFI. 2.3.1 firmware and gives you secure boot functionality. These VMs run on firmware signed and verified by Google Certificate Authority, ensuring that instance firmware is unmodified and establishing the root of security for secure boot. On each boot, UEFI verifies the digital signature of each component against the stored approved keys. Any boot component that is not properly signed or is not signed at all is not allowed to run in case of any issues vm will not load and gives you an error uefi failed to load image and status is security violation this is to ensure that there is no unknown process or unknown software is running with your vm machine and all these things are checked during the boot only to ensure that that software will not run and corrupt or create our issues with your system. Next is Virtual Trust Platform Module VTPM. A VTPM means Virtualized Trusted Platform Module, which ensures authorized access to system with required components. VTPM is two-step process: measured boot followed by integrity monitoring. Measured boot is a process of generating component hash and save it as last good boot baseline. Measured boot start generating the hash value of each component in sequence by clubbing it with the hash value of last component. The final hash value is considered as final baseline and saved as last good boot baseline. In image, you can see boot sequence component 1, component 2, component 3. That means in boot sequence, these components come in this sequence. So, in measured boot, it will generate the hash of component 1 and saves it. When component 2 starts, it generates the hash of the component 2 and merge it with component 1 hash and generate a new hash value. Now, when component 3 starts, it generates the hash of component with the combined hash of 1 and 2. This process continues till the all components are not loaded. Once every component is loaded, it will save the final hash value as a saved measurement or as a final last good baseline for the comparison purpose during the next boot. Integrity monitoring. Integrity monitoring is the process of comparing that we just said with the current final hash value the last good boot baseline hash value. In this difference an alarm start. The hash value can be changed when component change or component missing or added or component sequence change. 
Integrative monitoring is the process of comparing the hash values. The hash value that we have just generated above is saved as the last good baseline value. And next time when your machine start, it will generate the fresh hash value and it will compare the both of those both values. In case of any difference, it will raise an alarm and there may be possibility that the difference come because of any missing components, any new component is added, any component is modified or sequence of component is changed. Any of the combination is changed will change result the different hash value and alarm that hash is changed and you need to check that manually or you can add the scripts for detailed information. However, in case everything is good, it will save the current boot value is and last good known boot value for the comparison of next boot. Features of Shield VMs Features of Shield VM verify integrity with secure and major boot. We have just discussed about them. VTPM generates and securely stores encryption key and sensitive data on guest operating system. Shield VM works on UEFI firmware which replaces the legacy BIOS subsystem and enables UEFI secure boot capabilities. Integrity measurement helps identifying changes from healthy baseline of your VM and current runtime state. GCP provides cloud logging and monitoring which helps in monitoring such states with the logs. Live migration and patching helps you to keep your instance running when a host system events occur such as software or hardware upgrade. GCP IAM policies and permissions helps to manage the use of shield VM disk images and have VTPM and integrative option enabled for all the machines or for a limited set of machines. Shielding existing VM machine options helps you to migrate your existing VMs into shield VMs in GCP. Shield VM is free. There is no separate charge you need to pay for using shield VMs. However, shield VMs is not available for all machine types or all zones. That means its availability is limited when you are selecting the appropriate zone or appropriate machine type, this option is enabled for you. We have discussed about permutable and shield VM these and their characteristics. For any questions, please leave comments on video or contact us. Thanks for watching. Do like, share and comment our videos and also subscribe to our channel.